For more than four years, the Indian Space Agency, ISRO, has been working on its most ambitious mission yet, known as Gaganyaan. Gaganyaan 3. This mission will involve sending Indian astronauts to space and returning them to Earth safely. All of this using indigenous technology. To know how far the astronauts' training has progressed, listen in to our correspondent Siddharth MP, who spoke exclusively to ISRO chief Dr. S. Somnath. India is working on the ambitious Gaganyaan mission, which aims to send a crew of Indian astronauts to space. So how far have we come so far? We are traveling quite long. For the last four years, we have been working on this project for building uh, the capability. The first and foremost is bringing the rocket to a human-rated capability. I think they nearly achieved. Uh, we have tested all the modules of the propulsion to, the, to prove that it is reliable and safe. Uh, we, we are developing the crew module for taking the human being and we are also developing the crew escape system and the most important at the heart of the system is something called integrated vehicle health management system which is a computational algorithmic system which will detect an imminent failure and take action to save the crew. So all of this we are developing at different centers. We are also developing the astronaut training methods, astronauts, their, their um, uh, tra training pool, uh, all those routines, etc. Et so and also a lot of tests of course. So what are the next tests we can expect? So we can expect the, the first of the abort mission, which will take the crew module to a certain height and then cause uh, intentional abort and then see how it fails and saves the crew. So we will go through various steps of those tests. How far has the astronaut training come? Training, they have done uh, many stages, so it's, uh, they have gone through the external training program, which they have successfully completed. They came and went through the internal training program of simulator level training. Now they are undergoing course work at institutions and, tra and trainers within ISRO to understand the fundamentals and theory. After that they will go through again a repeated uh, external training program for them to refresh it. Then they will be part of our design team to design the crew module themselves. And finally in the simulator crew module they will do actual mission simulations. Which are the countries supporting us in this endeavor? A lot of countries around the world, at least uh, in the past it was Russia, then, let it, then came France, USA, Japan. Um, and European, some other nations as well. So when can we expect the first unmanned and when can we expect the manned? I am also expecting like you that the first unmanned will take place next year beginning and uh, it will be repeated maybe once or twice. Uh, based on the outcome, the manned mission will take place. Our current schedule is end of 24 or early 25. Everything goes well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was Dr. S. Somna, Chairman Isro, speaking to Beyond World is One that the first unmanned mission of Gaganyan is likely to take place early 2024 and thereafter in uh, a couple of months there will be further testing of the same unmanned mission. Thereafter there will be the manned human spaceflight mission or the astronaut mission. With video journalist Aragar from Bengaluru, Siddharth MP, Beyond World is One.